Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's JD Bassin here, and today I'll be doing a line re a line review here for you guys. So, today, what we're going to review, Spider Wire Easy Braid Braided Line. So, uh, uh, not much to say about this line. I mean, you know, uh, gets the gets the job done. But, I'm going to, you know, just go into it more, you know, if it works or not, I and mean, what baits I use with it, you know, just all that. So, um, this is the box that it comes in. You know, this is just a simple box right here, you know, this cardboard box. Um, you know, this has a picture of the spider. I buy it and use it in normally 15 pound test. So, um, it is constructed of dynamic fibers, which is opposingly said to be three times stronger than steel. I have found that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see me quite good, let me sit like that. So I've, um, kind of, you know, tested it out and uh, it is quite strong, uh, the fibers on the spider wire. Uh, I haven't broken any fish off spider wire before, uh, off this type of the, um, easy braid because there's uh, different types of spider wire braid line. But, uh, I haven't really, you know, lost any fish off this. It's tough. It holds knots good. Uh, I use it on my, uh, uh, I'm not going to get it, but I was going to, but I use it on one of uh, my Abba Garcia's um, SX spinning reel, and works good. So, um, what I use it with, I normally use it for, uh, just considering, you know, what I have it rigged on, I normally use it for something like, a text rig with um on that um, rod that I have it rigged on because that rod that specific rod that I have the line rigged on and reel I normally use for uh um text rigs or um Carolina rigs or different types of saw plastic rigs. So so yeah it's also got a good cast ability. I mean cast pretty well um, it, you know, all depends on what type of weight you, you use. I use just a simple, I think it's a, I think a what, a one eighth, some, uh, uh, I think a one eighth ounce bullet head on it, uh, normally for my, um, text rigs I normally, uh, rig up on that line. And it cast, seems to cast fine, you know, doesn't really doesn't really, you know, hold back, I mean, you know, and it does, a lot of people say that it actually, um, it's a bad line because it'll actually dig into itself and it'll, you know, kind of eat away. Uh, it doesn't really do that that much, uh, well, wh why did I say that for? I mean, like, not, doesn't really do that, I mean, you know, because obviously, if it's gonna dig into itself, it's not gonna have good not um, good strength into it. And uh, what I've been really noticing about it is that it's pretty strong, and I can you know pull it through grass mat, I can pull it through brush, uh, fish it on, on a stomp, and it doesn't really you know seem to you know lack any strength matter in that. So, so yeah, um, let me show you guys picture of the spool right here. There's the spool right here. You know, there's the line right there. I just have it in a simple uh, low vis green color. Like I said, I use it in 15 pound. And so yeah, maximum strengthness and smoothness. And um, that is what it is. Cause I mean, I've test I'm tested it before. Uh, I have I've had quite a lot of bad like review like. People have put out bad words about it, you know, just saying that's crap and all that. Uh, I find I find it to be, you know, quite good. You know, I mean, it's a good. I mean, it's not the best braid of line, but it, it's good for what you get. You can get uh, what hundred? This is a fifteen pound, one hundred ten yards. Uh, I purchased this for about, I think it was like eight, um, almost nine dollars, uh, like eight bucks. I, I got it for for that spool, and that's pretty good, you know, for braid of line right there and. Yeah, holds up good, has good knot, good knot strength, good castability, and yeah, so that's the end of the video there, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to JW Basson, and 
I'll be making sure more videos come. I'll come, man. See you guys later.